Hi everyone. I just learned a fun fact about Cleopatra there. If you see it in the oh wait, oh it's still there. Uh, that a servant apparently pre-chewed food for her when she was a baby, and they had like royal testers and stuff to uh, to uh, you know make sure there's no poison in her food and stuff. Never knew that. This game, uh, dude, I'm telling you, this game is like filled with fun facts and stuff like that. So that's why I'm super into this game. Anyway, welcome back to another episode, guys. Um, I'm going to as normally start off this episode by leveling my character up. I have a solid five ability points here, so I'm actually looking pretty good. Uh, but I know what I want to use it on. I want to start conflict with full adrenaline gauge, because that is extremely helpful. Uh, what else do I want to do? That's honestly all I thought about doing. Uh, killing enemies with overpower gives you extra XP. That sounds really useful. Oh, oh, I'm out of ability points. Never mind. Uh, that's right. So I only got two abilities. I actually, really quick, I also want to do my gear. Uh, I can't do much, but I can do some. I can definitely give myself extra arrows. That's always a good one. I can also increase my melee damage. And then, as usual, I can increase my tools. The tool one is by far the easiest one to get up, but it's also the most useless. So, for what that's worth. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, we got all that stuff out of the way. Uh, we're going to continue the main quest. If you remember, we were on the track of the Scarab. And we were trying to figure out, you know, who the Scarab is. I'm actually really close to that area. I already made it to Letopolis. I am currently level 20, so I've done a lot of grinding off screen. Uh, so at this point, I think I'm actually pretty solid on grinding for the rest of these quests. Assuming I can level up enough during these main quests. Which is kind of my goal. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's been some time since I played Assassin's Creed Origins. The funny thing about this series is that I feel like I do an episode, and then it's like two weeks before I do another episode. And in between, it's just a lot of like silent grinding and stuff. Uh, oh, I thought that was going to be a thing. Oh, I got to go through here, I think. Uh, no, it's like it, there's like a long pause between recording sessions. Because I'm telling you, you know, I say it over and over, but the grinding session for this is probably about double the length of the actual recording. And it's just a lot of nonsense, like running around doing quests, things like that. So, you know, it's Taharka. Taharka might be my the coolest name in this game. That's just a fun one to say. Taharka. your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. The Scarab. That's also a cool name. For who knows who may overhear our words. I would hate myself if I ever saw a real scarab, though. I hate bugs. Alright, follow Taharka. Oh, there's another side quest. Yeah, I've been doing side quests out the wazoo lately. Some of the side quests are kind of cool, to the point where, like, I wish I showed some of them off, but I just, you know, I don't care enough to do that. Oh, oh my nips aren't showing. I just noticed that. He has, like, a piece of tape covering his nipple. That's gotta be painful. You're gonna get chafed. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. Aww. Ah, oh, that's kind of adorable. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? <laughs> I, uh, the fucking Bayek, bitches getting money, you know. Oh. Just finding the scarab. That could, that might possibly be the most depressing scarab answer you can give to that question. I don't dream. There's no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the scarab, Tahak? Seems after what he did to your father-in-law. Hmm. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive. Master Tahaka. Huh. They're attacking the ruins again. Again. Bayek, come fight with me. Oh, I can do that, sir. If there's one thing I can do, it's fight. Good. All right, let's do this. No, this is another escort mission. The voice of the the desert dogs oh, this is cool. It's a sandstorm. Track. See, stuff like this, I think... Oh, oopsie, 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 oopsie. oopsie. It's cool. Man, this this sandstorm legitimately just hit out of nowhere, didn't it? Oh, you're all going to die now. Reactions. There we go. Man, this lag. This is why I play on console gaming, baby. I, I, it's, it's not a sad screw without some lag. What level are these guys? 18? Yeah. They're uh, kind of no match for me in my level 20 assness. Oh, kill him, baby. There we go. Are those, like, friends over there? Like, way in the distance. Is there more? I'm supposed to say next to... Oh, okay, there he goes. I was going to say, I know I'm supposed to say next to him. Sweet. One thing I do need to start doing soon is upgrading my weapons. Oh, no, my controller. I have another controller next to me. But I'm pretty sure that controller is dying, too. So if this controller dies... In the middle. I am prepared for that. But if the second controller dies... Are you my friend? You are. Oopsie. Sorry for hitting you, sir. 
I didn't realize you were an ally. Oh, it's a body. It's a dead body. Oh, this place is... This place looks really cool with the sandstorm. See, the unfortunate thing is, like, the idea of a sandstorm is so cool, but they never use this. Like, I wish this would just be, like, a random thing that could happen in the game, you know? But it, it's not. And it's kind of unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Actually, what I should do is I should check, and I'm going to do a real... Oh, I can assassinate him. I did not think I'd be able to do that, but I guess it's a sandstorm. I want to see if I have a predator bow yet. I have two slots, too. I should use it. Let's see. Hunter, hunter, hunter. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'd be down here. I do have predator bows. I could have been using a predator bow this whole time, and I haven't been using it. By the way, this is what a predator bow looks like, in case you're curious. You can go like this with it, and then like this. And then I can actually control, like, the movement of the arrow. It's, like, it's my best friend in stealth missions. And I have not been using it at all this game, and that kind of disappoints me. Makes me feel like I've been uh, really letting myself down. Oh, you're not you a bad guy. Oh, yeah? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I was going to try to assassinate someone. At least there's no, like, big guys. I'm kind of surprised. It's just, like, the easy guards. Ow. Like, there's no, like, uh, you know, the big guys with, like, the big, uh, what's that thing called? The mace. You know, like, the oversized mace. Oh. Yeah, too bad, like... It's funny because your ally has low health, but it literally means nothing. He'll just like fall to the ground and then that's it. Like he doesn't die or anything like that. Ow. Which I kind of like because in other games you have to like focus so much on your partner's health that, you know, it kind of defeats the purpose. But in this game, it's kind of meaningless. Anyway, what's up, Taharka? How you doing? Taharka, let's go! Come on! Oh, there we go. Now he's moving. That's kind of weird. I'm glad we're just, like, kind of slaughtering mindless people here. This is kind of cool. Oh, look at this kid! You're fucked! Yeah, alright. Ah, oh, I missed my chance to assassinate again. I, did I put the smoke screen? Is that me? It's, I, I like... Oh, see, there's a hard guy. It's kind of funny putting up a smoke screen in the middle of a sandstorm. Ow. Way to whiff... Oh, you hurt the heart cut! See? That's all that happens. He runs out of health and then he just falls on the ground like that. I should start using my uh, overkill ability. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Pretty sure I stabbed him in the back there, but whatever. Guess I don't care that much. Oh, 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 there we go. Yeah, this, like, fight sequence is really cool. And down goes another one. Oh, now you're awake. Oh, there. I'm just gonna lay here for a second. Uh, you keep killing those guys for me, real quick. Die, motherfucker. Oh! That was an accident. Didn't mean to destroy your infrastructure, sir. Jesus. Chill yourself, buddy. This is the guy I want to use it on. This is the strong one. Hey, it's Shady Chaos! Yeah, welcome to the video. It's been a while. He's always in our streams, by the way, in case you're curious how I know him. He's, uh, he's probably been one of like the biggest followers we've had, so. I don't know. Shout out to Shady in this video. <laughs> and Taharka's down again. That's nice. And you're fucked, bro. Okay, okay. Slow yourself. I hate when you miss and you just, like, run forever. It's really weird that that's a thing in this game. Oh, wait. I'm targeting this guy. I'm sorry. I should probably kill, like, this guy first. Because this guy needs my one-on-one -on -one attention. Ah, son of a bitch! There we go. There we go. See, it's all about, like, timing. It's a lot like... I, I don't want to compare this game to Dark Souls because it's nowhere near as hard. But it's similar to that where you can't just, like, attack. You kind of got to wait for the moment to strike. We've done it. Thank you. Yeah, we can. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. <laughs> Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Magi that you wear? These reavers are a threat to the good and innocent... Yeah, I was kind of going to say, that does sound like something I would help with. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. Sounds good. All right. 
I will join your course for today. I mean, to be fair, Bayek, I, you know, he tends to go out of his way to help everyone. It seems weird. This is like the one time he's like, you know what? I'm not going to help. This isn't my job. It's like, eh, it kind of is your job, actually. You are the protector of Egypt. Though I, I think he's just the protector of Siwa, actually. I've always wondered if there's other, like, Medjai in this game. They've never, like, make reference to them. But I would imagine there would because I think he's, like, the Siwa guy. The Siwa guy, whatever that means. Brave, loyal servants of Letopolis. We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I'll spill some blood. Let's go, guys. We're just one big gang here. Let's do this. I'm taking this horse. Fuck you guys. Okay, or this horse. I guess. I guess the game chose my horse for me. Are they just up here? Do we really have to, like, gather up, like, 20 horses to ride 10 feet? Or maybe this isn't where it is. I don't know. <laughs> To be honest, the these NPCs sometimes like drive the ride. weirdest courses, and it makes and no sense to me. Stars, like, let's drive right those... toward that building, and then make a sharp left turn to this building. The and knowing this game, that probably was the building the we were supposed to go to. Except for women. That's a timely joke. A strong arm. A keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. Uh, I have my sure. own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot... Ah, dick balls. All right, switching remotes now. That was inevitably going to happen. I think this is my more live remote. I hope it is. Let me see. Oh, Lord, this remote doesn't have a lot of battery either. That's all right. As long as it can last me this video. The problem is I use rechargeable batteries, but, like, the charging station is starting to break down on me. So it's... <coughs> excuse me. It's getting a lot harder. Is this where we are supposed to be? Oh, yeah, it is. So it's getting a lot harder to, uh, like, recharge them. Like, it has to be perfectly positioned on the charger. And, like, if I shake it even a little bit, it doesn't work. And it really sucks. Oh, let's go. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Ooh, I see guards out here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Donna. Donna. That's right. I got like a whole army with me. I'm not really concerned about this. And then I could find the treasure in here too. And then get that XP. Yeah, fuck it. I don't care. I was gonna try to be stealthy, but who cares? I got like 20 soldiers behind me. I don't think it's gonna matter much. Ow. Stop it, guys. Ready? Please don't hit my friend. Ah! Tarka! Okay. I was like, the heart is like standing right in my path. Okay, I'm gonna do this too, so I can. While I'm here, I wanna grab the treasure. Because I'm assuming we're gonna end up killing the captain while we're here. So I wanna get this too. Because every time you finish an area, you get like a certain amount of XP, and it's usually quite a bit. So I'm like, why not while I'm here, you know? While I'm in the zone, I might as well get a little bit of XP. It's not much at all. In fact, it's pretty much worthless, but still. There's only a couple more guys. They're all up there. Sounds like a few bandits are roosting up top. Ah, oh, what gives you that? Okay, I'm just gonna climb inside this guy. That's a lovely strategy. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can sneak up on this one. Just keep facing that way, and boom, look at that. There is nothing more satisfying than stealth assassinating someone that's in the middle of a fight. I love doing that. I don't know why. It's just like he's about to stab your friend and then you just like shank him in the back. It's so cool. Oh wait, okay, thank you for doing that. So this is probably the captain up here then I'd imagine. That's awesome. I think this will be easy. It is. Hey, look at they did they finished the location for me. I didn't even have to kill him, that's awesome. Anyway. Uh, okay, where's the heart? Hey, we've done it. Okay, let's head back in. See, I don't need ladders, bro. I just do this. I just hop in like a madman. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to be like, fuck off, Bayek. Okay, this is a nice room. Ah. See, so we did help them. All right, speak. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Yeah. Who are they? blood followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. 
Hmm. Are they connected to this garab? So you you know what? I have to no, wonder. Um, themselves lions. No when whoever made up these religions, now right? Because someone had to like think of this stuff up—the Greek mythology. I, will bring this I wonder. Or, this is Egyptian, I mean. But I wonder who decided I'm gonna make Sekhmet, like this evil die. person of chaos, because they had to have known that people were gonna like follow and like be evil. You know, I don't know. Meet the Harka at his home, but Harka's right here. Anyway, uh, let's go meet the Harka at his home, wherever his home is. Man, I, there's still a whole bunch of area down there I have not explored at all. It, like, it's kind of crazy to me. Because I'm like, there's so much to this game that, like, we never get to see, you know? Like, at a certain time, you know? Like, because it feels like we've explored so much of this game already. Like, this is the fifth episode. I'm probably already, like, a few hours into this game in terms of recording. So I'm like, you would think we've seen a good chunk of the map, but we've barely seen, like, I would say 15% of the map. Because some of the biggest locations we haven't explored, and even like in the cities that we have explored, we really haven't seen all that much. So it's like there's still so much to see and do in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Ow. That's, it's not so painful when he does that. It's just like a hard flop. Okay. Let's meet the Hark at his home. Because I guess apparently he's just randomly back home now. That's cool. <laughs> I guess uh, fast travel is not faster than he is. I do wonder, like, if I could have done it in a way where he's not here. I don't know. Bayek, did you see the sandstorm? Is he actually, is he, he is, is he here? Or am I, like, waiting for him to get home? I don't know what's going on, man. Yes, I saw the sandstorm, by the way, kid. I'm glad you made it safely, Maharet. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. Hmm. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sand. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds up Egypt in a nutshell. Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. <laughs> and what do you promise them, Tahaka? Parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. I feel like so Bayek doesn't like Taharka. Dig up your house. It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. Yeah, Bayek's kind of a dick right now. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. <laughs> the savior of Lotopolis. This is a very interesting conversation right now. Let us have some honey dates now. And are you all right, Bayek? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God. Are you unwell? All right, fuck Taharka. Apparently, <laughs> now I know why Bayek didn't trust him. Presume, assuming he poisoned me. Uh, funny, right? Taharka, uh, Bayek's like, I don't know if I trust this guy, but I'm gonna dine and drink with him. Literally, like the normal way people get poisoned in these days. Oh God, it's that's me. The game's over. Oh God. Oh God, this it looks like a bloody nightmare. Gods be against you, Tahaka. Yeah, what did he think was gonna happen exactly? So he didn't poison me, I guess. This is nice. Let's just leave it like this for a while. I'm just kidding. Okay, free yourself. This is horrible. How do I get out? Where are you, my love? <laughs> I'm failing you. Man, this guy is. Uh, at least. Please, you know what? At least if we're going to die here, at least we get a nice view of the pyramids. Me. I think that's the most important thing here. Buy it. Come on, man. Soon I will walk the outer darkness with the hidden one. Oh, wait. Leading me into the field of wits. I wonder if Senu can help me somehow. Maybe not. I thought maybe Senu could, like, dig something up for me. I'm trying to free myself, but I can't game. Oh, no. I'm oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I think it's just cutscenes, honestly, that I have to watch. No. No. Not you, whoever you are. This is creepy as hell. I see. I don't like this at all right now. <laughs> can, you, can you help me, my lady? <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? 
Jesus Christ. Well, if this, if this controller dies, uh, I do have batteries I can put in. But uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass getting this thing off. And I'm just going to have to play with like the battery thing open, which would suck. But I could pull that off if I have to. I'd rather not. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay right here. This is really nice, you know. Watching Bayek just sort of drown in the desert. Let's see how long this goes on for. There is something to do, I want to say. Oh, wait. Oh, that was all I had to do was call my horse? Good lord. Oh, I get it. First of all, never had a horse. Mine was a camel. Don't know where this horse came from. Oh, and now Senu comes and helps. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. He's very lucky because somehow he got that one hand free. <laughs> Bike literally just got saved by a horse that does not belong to him and a bird that apparently knows exactly what to do. That was a bit odd. Anyway, find and retrieve my gear. Okay, am I able to just like go there? I am. Okay, cool. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Where's my horse though? To hurry before the wind erases the See, when I call that time, the camel comes. But fuck you, camel. I want the horse. Horse is way faster. Uh, so yeah, now we know who the scarab is, apparently. It's Taharka. I assume that was stated right now, now that we know. So yeah, uh, there, there's a whole lot to dissect there, right? Because Taharka apparently seemed like a good guy trying to stop the scarab. Uh, we're going to learn a lot more about his intentions coming up, you know, especially after the assassination. But like I said, first things first. First of all, very nice of him to at least bury us in a towel, I guess. We're back in this outfit again. Doesn't matter how many guys we assassinate, it seems like we always end up uh, in a new towel. That's cool. Okay, so the plan is to sneak in. Get our equipment and then just go ape shit. Because right now we have literally nothing. I'm pretty sure we have our uh, hidden blade. For some reason, it doesn't matter how many times you get assassinated, no one ever seems to take that from you. Uh, seems like a big mistake on their part. Oh, son of a bitch. I think I'm good, though. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Am I good now? That's pretty easy. Oh shit, he's coming. I'm going to gut you and find you. Am I able to assassinate him? I am, cool. Yes, I do have my hidden blade. Okay, sorry. Sorry for like the long silence there, but I was trying to figure that out. Okay, so my stuff is in here, I know that. Boom! Alright. So we got all our stuff back. Should have stayed in the shadows. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Now we're ready to kill the scarab. Now he's going to go down. Okay, so the scarab is very far from here, apparently. Uh, that's fine. Oh, he's back in Latopolis. So I almost wonder now... Uh, Think of it this way. So this is where games get interesting. So I want to think about game design here and what makes game design good. Because I don't remember. Uh, Taharka at no point has ever walked around with guards, right? He's always just kind of been alone in his house, kind of just walking the streets uh, or just alone with me. I'm curious if that's going to change. Because Taharka should be an easy target considering he doesn't act like a supervillain. So, you know, I don't know. If he's all of a sudden randomly like in the middle of some big fort with an army around him... Uh, I'm gonna call bullshit. So we'll see. Let this be a testament. I guess he hangs out in here a lot. We'll see. But I guess now that Taharka... But Taharka assumes we're dead, right? You, I would imagine. Like, he's not expecting us to come either. That's the thing. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I could show off my predator bow and kill him that way, but that's kind of boring. Because, I mean... Oh, yeah. See, there are guards around here. That sucks. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> wait. Okay, so I can kill him. And I could kill him. Look at that. See, I like it because you can, like, kind of control the arrows a bit. 
there's another one right there. Okay, let's take out this guy too. They go about a hundred feet too, by the way. Boom. Okay. That was good. That was really good. Uh, so now we just got to sneak into the temple. But I wonder if I could do it from the roof. Son of a biscuit. At least... Ah, he's not the only one up here. Oh, God. Okay, that's right. That's right. Take him down. Uh, this guy is going to be a bit of a bitch. Don't hurt my birdie. Oh, he's actually going down pretty easy. Oh, he fucked up. This guy came to work drunk today, dude. He was not ready to guard and serve. But this is what I'm saying. All of a sudden, Taharka ends up in this heavily guarded area. It makes no sense to me. I'll accept it, but... Oh, here we go. An assassination from the roof. In front of all the guards down here. Good lord. Okay, anyway. Uh... You know, this is a good time to just kind of stop and talk, I guess. So, there we go. This is how a dream dies. Yeah, you got busted, bitch. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret. We all labor for higher powers. We are all enthralled to greater forces. There is no escape. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, is that my son again? I am but one in the order of ancients. This victory will bring you no peace. It is not, You're not peace wrong about that, that. I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The order of ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and a builder of cities. Yeah, all right. Whatever you say, man. <coughs> This stuff always makes me laugh because I'm like, so what? He's gonna oh, kill me after I kill him. Blow in. Oh, or not? And scatter the dream of Letopolis like dust. <laughs> Honestly, Bias got some pretty cool one-liners. That was kind of fucked up though, because you know, Letopolis deserves to be successful and stuff. Anyway, uh, oh wait, what am I doing? So my second controller is now ready. I put new batteries in it, so in case this one dies too. Uh, we are good to go. Amen, brother. Now, let's not forget. Oh, see, there it goes. It died. Uh, so that's okay, because I got this one ready. I'm just switching back and forth between controllers. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm they got all the cards left, and you guys came, I guess. Aw. It is really sad. Aww. Your dad was a mean Take guy. Me. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. Aww. You your are horrible. He was horrible. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No. It is up to you to raise your boy into the light. Out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. Damn. Bayek does not give a... Well, I guess he does. He I'm does look sorry, pretty sad. Son. Aww. Welp. There's one target down, I guess. Um, I'm going to find the papyrus, and then we're probably going to call this an episode. Because we killed one of our targets. Oh, we're actually back out of the animus, aren't we? Never mind, I guess we're not going to do that. Um, oh, I can sync with Aya now. Pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Uh, do we have time? We just passed the 30 minute mark. Uh, oh my god, it's about to put me as Aya, isn't it? Oh lord have mercy, I'm not ready for this. I didn't think, I thought it, oh well, you know. I thought it was going to happen after I assassinated all these targets. I, I thought this game was segmented. I don't remember this part at all. This is a cool part of the game, though, admittedly. Very easy part of the game, but it is fun. Um, but I am going to save this for next time. So, actually, when this ends, I'm probably going to pause it. So, thanks, everyone, for watching. It was a real blast doing this episode. If you liked it, let me know down below. Um, 
I'm going to keep making this series at least once a week. Yeah. Looking at this, you can probably get a sneak peek on what this game is about to become. I am so excited for this. But I'm going to save this for the next episode. Adios, guys.